Range rating, a gas combi boiler. It's good for the customer, it saves gas, it's good for the environment, it saves carbon footprint, it's good for the appliance, it saves wear and tear. My name is Richard Firth, welcome to Viva Training. We have a great relationship with Worcester Bosch and Rob from Worcester Bosch, their technical trainer, has come to tell you all about range rating and range rating the Worcester Green Star 8000. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Richard. My name's Rob Davis and I'm a technical trainer from Worcester Bosch, proudly supporting Viva Training. I'm here today to talk about range rating and how it can save your customer money on their central heating bills. So as you may know, all homes have a heat loss value. Back in the day, this was worked out um, by your grandfathers, fathers, forefathers, um, taking a tape measure into a property, um, working out the insulation values for that home, measuring the windows, floors, ceiling heights, and then at the end of the day, they would input all that information into a meters calculator and come out with um, a heat loss value for that property. Now that may have been back in the day, a BTU um, output. Nowadays, we measure that heat loss as a kilowatt output. In the modern world, with the technology that we have available to us, we can now tune our gas appliances to match what that heat loss value is. So what the property actually needs in heating energy um, in kilowatts. When an installer sizes a boiler for a property, um, they are sizing that boiler on the litres per minute that, that come out of the, the, the hot tap. In front of me here, I've got the Worcester Green Star 8000 style. Um, this is the 30 kilowatt version and it will do around about 10.7 litres a minute with a 40 degree delta T between hot and cold. Delta T is a fancy way of saying temperature difference. So who benefits from range rating? Uh, it's the end user, number one, will benefit from range rating uh, because you're going to save them money on their heating bills. But number two, you're also going to save their carbon footprint. A lot of people are very conscientious about that. But a third thing that you might not think about is that you are going to save them repair costs in the future um, for, for that uh, appliance. When we're range rating, we're actually changing the output of the, uh, the, the fan that's working away inside that boiler. Um, so we're reducing the fan speed in effect, which will have the added effect of um, not overworking the fan when it doesn't need to overwork. Um, the heat exchanger will be able to uh, more effectively manage the amount of heat that's been transferred into it because there's not, enough, there's not as much gas going through there. The other benefit is to the planet. Um, if we can help save our environment, go a bit greener um, and, and help with the effects of global warming just by adjusting some settings on, on our boiler then, uh, that's, a, that's a winner for everyone is that. So how does range rating work? So as a lowly heating engineer, I could never picture what was going on inside this, uh, inside this box here. Um, so I needed to create some analogy for my, for my courses uh, to help me understand a little bit more what's going on. And the analogy I use is around cars. I'm a car guy, I do love my cars. Um, so let's say we want to take that car to work on a morning or to the supermarket. So, it's a 200 brake horsepower car. Likelihood, I'm going to be driving on 30, 40 mile an hour roads. Um, ladies and gentlemen, do I really need to use that full 200 brake horsepower to, 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 to get to the supermarket? Um, the answer to that would be, unless you want a speeding ticket, probably no. The other thing that's going to go against you there is the fact that you will be going to the petrol station um, on a very regular basis if you are driving at 200 brake horsepower everywhere you go. Um, and that's exactly what your boiler is doing on your heating system if you do not range rate that boiler. 
Um, it's going to be working at, at, at full tilt um, all the time whenever you turn your heating on. As we've already mentioned, this boiler gives out 30 kilowatts of heating output to the, to the radiators, to the central heating circuit. So I'm going to use today this 30 kilowatt 8000 as an example. My property at home only needs 13 kilowatts of um, heating output. Um, my central heating at home with family is one of the uh, it is the most used mode for that for that appliance. So think there's a big difference between how we use our central heating and, and hot water demands. A big difference. So what we want to do is adjust down the heat output only for the central heating. We don't want to affect the hot water output at all because that. If we remember back to the start, the boiler has been sized for what the uh, water output needs, how many litres a minute we have coming out of the tap. So, we're going to have a look at the display on the 8000, which I think is one of the best features. And we're also going to couple that with the manufacturer's instructions for this boiler. In the back of the book, page 74, there is a chart on this side. In the middle, it tells you a display percentage. Display percentage. And what that percentage relates to is fan speed. That's what that is. So looking at this book, we can see that 50% is 15 kilowatts of heating output. Um, and we can go into the display and we can change that really, really simply. After a period of time to save energy, this boiler shuts the display off. So we need to wake that up by using the um, OK button. Once the display is awake, we can then access the service menu for this boiler. The service menu is there for engineer use. It's there to tune the boiler to the property's needs. There are many, many functions in the service menu uh, for the installer. To access the service menu on this boiler, we hold down the heating and the hot water buttons for a few seconds. The display will give us a countdown. Now, there are lots of different menus in this, uh, in this display, um, but the one that we want to do is to go to the settings menu. If we ever wanted to change something on our mobile phone, we would go into settings, whether that be to set up a new Wi-Fi connection or find some information about the boiler, um, we would go into the settings menu. Um, so no different on here, we'll go into the settings menu and once we're happy with that, we'll press OK. You'll see a list um, in this menu uh, of various different sub menus but what we're trying to achieve is we're trying to change the heating output so as you can probably guess from the display we want to be in the heating menu now you'll see at the very top of this sub menu we have maximum heat output if I press OK on maximum heat output, there's the percentage that we're talking about. So this boiler is currently giving out 30 kilowatts of heat. According to this chart, it's giving out 30.2 kilowatts of heat at 100%. The lowest we can go is 50%. So we just hold down the arrow buttons until the display is showing that 50%. And then when we're happy with the changes that we've made to this boiler, we can press the OK button. If we don't have any other parameters to change, we can go all the way back to the start. And that's it. This boiler is now range rated and set up for the heat requirements that that property needs. So to conclude, um, with what we've done there, we've just saved 
the customer, the end user, money on their heating bills for the lifetime of that boiler um, or while it's been, it's been rangerated. And for you, the installer, you can now, that little field on the benchmark where it says range rating, you can fill that in and, and, and tell the benchmark what, what you've actually range rated the boiler to. Use your skills, tell the customer what you've done, and they will think you are an absolute central heating god, especially when you tell them that they're gonna save lots of money on the heating bills over the life of that boiler. Tune in next time for some more informational videos uh, from me, Rob Davis, in partnership with Viva Training.